Are you about to meet your baby brother? When I brought him through the door, I was a little bit worried because I knew Watson was going to be pretty excited. So we had to be pretty careful. They're getting along so well. At first I said, why is the cat drenched every time I come in? It's because Watson's licking up a storm, giving him all these kisses and the cat's loving it. But when I show a friend like, a video, usually jaws on the floor, like, really? They're, they get along that well? Press. Yes! We got Watson about two years ago now. He was actually the biggest one in a litter of 16 puppies. And when I brought him home, I was a little devastated because he wasn't extremely close. But after about three months with him, he started sleeping on my lap. Just like a cat. That's how we found out. The bigger he gets, the more he likes to sit on you rather than beside you but I have the camera and I just saw him looking out the window while I was gone and it broke my heart. So that's where the idea started to get him a friend. Do not. What are you doing? I looked for a cat for a long time and I saw his photos and looked at my boyfriend. I said, that's my cat. When we walked through that door, Watson jumped up on the couch and we put him on the arm of the chair. Good, gentle. Play gentle, Watson. I thought, what the heck? This was supposed to be harder. Oh, where's the kitty? When the cat gets in a feisty mood, he'll try to catch his tail and Watson's completely fine with it. The cat will be absolutely wild at times, jumping over his head, biting his legs, going crazy. So their relationship is just typical sibling relationship. What's in? <laughs> I feel so fulfilled having these two babies of mine. They have had a huge impact on my life. We have all these wonderful experiences together and I'm never alone. And this is the life that we were all meant to have.